I'm Adam. This RDM Byte will give you an introduction to data sharing with a focus on answering the question, why share your research data? At the end of this RDM Byte, you should be able to understand what data sharing is, understand the benefits of sharing research data and metadata, understand why sometimes we shouldn't share research data, and understand the difference between sharing data and sharing metadata. So what is data sharing? The term data sharing can be confusing as it's often used in different contexts. For example, you are probably already sharing research data with your supervisor and other collaborators. For this RDM byte, data sharing refers to sharing research data outside of your research team and potentially, but not necessarily, sharing it openly online for anyone to access, also known as open data. The main focus of this RDM byte is on why you should share data or metadata, and less on the how. There are many options under the umbrella term of data sharing. This range of options highlights how important it is to discuss and plan data sharing early in the research process. All aspects of data sharing, including which data sets will be shared, how they will be shared, when and by whom, should be covered in your data management plan. Also, even if you can't openly share the raw data, there are still steps you can take to make your research outputs more fair, which stands for findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. Many researchers assume data sharing is all or nothing, fully open or fully closed, when actually there is a whole spectrum of different options. Just some of these possible options are shown here. Even within the same project, it may be appropriate to share different types of data at different levels of openness, and there is no one-size-fits-all solution for data sharing. So what are the benefits of data sharing? While there are lots of benefits to data sharing for your research field and for wider society, I'm mostly going to focus on the benefits to you as an individual researcher, as these tend to be the most convincing. Increased transparency and reproducibility. Sharing your data helps others to verify or reproduce your results. Being transparent with your data and your research process helps to demonstrate methodological rigor. Easier collaboration, even if just with future you. Many researchers report taking additional care to make their work clear when they're planning to share it. This leads to fewer errors and better quality research. Further, the person who is most likely to reuse your research objects in the future is you. So taking the time to improve your research data management early on can actually save time in the long run. Further, if the data is openly shared, other people can find the data and analyze it to address different research questions. This can lead to greater impact and could lead to further collaboration. More citations. While for most disciplines, the journal article still reigns supreme as the accepted final product of a research project, the value of other types of output are being recognized more. You can now publish a dataset as a citable output in its own right. This can also be useful to combat the file draw problem, a form of publication bias where data is locked away in storage as the results are difficult to publish. For example, they may be null results or may be from a replication study and therefore judged to lack novelty. There's also evidence that articles with accompanying open data are more frequently cited. Enables meta-research. As more studies are done into a research area, we gain a more accurate picture of the study phenomenon, for example, through the use of meta-analyses. By sharing your data, you enable meta-researchers to conduct analyses like these and other investigations into the wider research and publication landscape. Finally, some journals, funders, and institutions require data sharing. So being compliant with their policies now or developing the required skills for the future is a big benefit. So when is it not appropriate to share data? While I've hopefully convinced you of the benefits of sharing data, it's important to note that there are sometimes good reasons to not share data. These are primarily when the data is of a sensitive nature, or it would be unethical to do so. This is common when working with personal data, but other examples include where data is commercially sensitive, is related to national security, or is related to vulnerable communities. If you are unsure, always ask for guidance from a research data management specialist before sharing data that could be considered sensitive. 
So what if you can't openly share your data? Even if it's not appropriate to share your raw data, there are other options available. While there is overlap between the terms fair data and open data, they are different. And openness is not a requirement to making your data more fair. One common approach to increase fairness of data you can't openly share is by creating and sharing the metadata instead. Metadata is data about your research data. This could include a text description of the data set, the column headers, relevant tags or keywords, or any sharing and access restrictions, usually alongside a license. As long as you're transparent about the reasons for not sharing data, for example, by providing details in a data availability statement, you are still making your research more fair and still being as open as possible, but as closed as necessary.